<laughs> All right, welcome back quickly. This is the WB Traffic Thursday. It's busy. It's been busy. Yeah, it's been busy, right? That's India. right. Busy Thursday. All right. Up next, we have a very special guest. This is uh, the country coordinator for Blue Ventures, marine scientist uh, Jennifer Chapman. Uh, good morning, Jennifer, who's... Um, first WUB entrance was to claim that um, she got me to eat lionfish. Yeah. Yes. 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 And you liked you're, it. You're the one. And you liked it. You're the one. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's you're the me. one. You are the one <laughs> that got me eating lionfish mm -hmm. and understanding the lionfish thing. So respect is due to that. It was good. Good. Glad to hear it. Um, it's. Um, you know, I, I think some very experienced fish people have substantiated the initial allegation that it's in the vicinity of hogfish. Yes. And that is a huge, huge compliment for lionfish. Mm -hmm. To be in the general vicinity of hogfish <laughs> is to have quite a credential. I understand that's your favorite fish. It is the best fish. So it's lionfish is up right there. Under there. It's right. right up there. Like I said, it has been backed up by some credible <laughs> fish eating people. And they say, Moose, you're a bit hard. We think the lionfish got hog fish qualities. But no. It's in a taste. No, I respect that. And I acknowledge <laughs> that publicly. I just know to say that he better than you feel equal that? Uh, it got little resemblances. I give it credit. I give it the respect and tell people they got to eat it. Absolutely. But you're here this morning to talk about some another aspect of lionfish. Yes. And that is that is the jewelry. So I'm actually I'm wearing some lionfish earrings at the moment. Yeah. And um, basically, women in Sartaneja, PG and Placencia have been making jewelry out of lionfish tails for a while, and it's going really, really well. And so the, the real benefit of lionfish jewelry is that it increases the value of the catch for the fishes because they sell the tails to the women. And then the women turn it into these beautiful earrings and necklaces and sell those on to make a really nice profit. So we want to expand that benefit outside of those initial areas that we've been working in and start engaging with other communities around the country. And today, we're going to be giving a presentation to women in Belize City. So that's why I'm here today, is I wanted to put out the message so that we can have as, mu as many people as want to come would be welcome. Are you going to have the earrings there, of course? I have a, a couple pairs of earrings that I'll be able to show. But what we're going to be doing is explaining the project. Um, and we will be providing a training in August to train people on how to make the earrings and also provide some business training so that people can set up their own businesses and ultimately feed into a larger network of jewelers across the country to sell internationally, hopefully, is the plan. Wow. Yeah. So uh, today is just a kind of uh, a, a prep? Today's a prep, yeah. So we'll be meeting at the Bishop Sylvester Memorial Hall at 1 o'clock today, and I'll be explaining to everybody what what the lionfish problem is so that they can have a bit of background about why this jewelry is particularly special, the kind of markets which exist, what can be done, and to give them information about the workshop and what benefits I'll receive. And ultimately, then I'll be giving out the um, application forms and we'll be receiving applications. So that's a lionfish earring that you're wearing right now? These are lionfish earrings, yes. And those are on the market right now being sold by women who made them? Yes, these were made by um, a lady called Marari Verde in Sartaneja. And that's something like that goes for how much? These would sell for like $20 and up. $20 and up? Yep. And, uh, and you're saying that it, it, you, someone can learn to make that? It's actually quite simple. I don't want to give away the secret You're not going to give away air, the okay. But it's All quite right. simple. All and right. it doesn't require a lot of cap capital investment. Um, they're pretty, you know, to, to make it, 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 it's your time, it's your effort, it's your art. But it's not actual, you don't have to pay a lot of money to make them. So the value really comes from the art that the, each woman brings. Every pair is unique. You, you so have been dialoguing with some of the fisher folk here in, in the city mm -hmm. and getting them to understand the potential value in mm -hmm. lionfish, not mm -hmm. as a source of jewelry material mm -hmm. as well. And mm -hmm. how, what has been their response to? Well, a lot of the fishers in Belize City haven't been aware that you can actually sell lionfish to some of the restaurants 
even in Belize, or if they bring it into the fish market, that they'd be able to sell it. So I'm really trying to um, link up fishers with restaurants and let them know where those markets exist. And people have been really enthusiastic. They, for example, the Hour Bar in Belize City, over by uh, Princess Margaret Drive, they have lionfish on their menu, on their standard menu. It's called Save the Reef Ceviche, and it's very delicious. Um, and so any fishers who wanted to sell lionfish, they could head over there, and they, I know they always are looking so, so they could sell it right there. And, and so I've been speaking to a lot of fishers about different locations they can sell their fillet. And so now the land fish tails and fins yeah. have a value. Now they have a value as well. So when you back calculate, you see that for some of the smaller lionfish which you catch, if you sell that fillet and then you still sell the tail and the fins, you can add up to 40% to the value of your catch. So it really is a way to add value and and, and lionfish are found all over Belize, right? All over Belize, from the mangroves, estuaries, river mouths, coral reefs, seagrass beds. And, and I have to say that a lot of people, because I have a pair of lionfish earrings, mm -hmm. thanks to Jen here, <laughs> and um, a lot of people have asked me about them. They're like, oh my gosh, where do you get those earrings? They're so beautiful. And then when you see them on other people, they're actually very, they're quite nice as well. Mm -hmm. So it seems to be a very positive venture that you're doing to empower mm -hmm. women and also mm -hmm. anyone who really wants to get involved Absolutely. in making, uh, creating an industry. Absolutely. You've created an industry out of a problem, basically. You that's know? What, well, that's what we're trying to do is because we, we've had to come to accept the fact that lionfish are here to stay. There's nothing we can do about that, but they're so damaging to the reef that we need to figure out how to take this problem and turn it into something positive. And I think that by creating this jewelry, by eating this delicious fish. We're very lucky that it's beautiful and delicious. I mean, if it was a cockroach, <laughs> we'd oh maybe gosh. have a bit more of a problem. But this is a really delicious fish, and it's really beautiful, and we can make beautiful jewelry from it. So I feel like glass half full. Let's, let's do something good. So uh, if you were a woman listening and watching the show, you're saying there's no reason for them to feel that they can't be a part of this, getting a sense of what uh, potentially is an opportunity for them to go to this workshop. No, yeah. it's not everybody that attends. I think it's a selection process, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. There will be 12 places awarded. Um, so basically, we're going to be presenting the concept. Everybody is welcome to come. Um, any woman living in Belize City, our focus is, is for women. And um, so anyone li any women living in Belize City would be welcome to come along and we'll give all the information and we'll give application forms. The reason why we can't give everyone a slot is because we are going to be fully funding the, the workshop. So all of their expenses will be paid, their accommodation, um, their food, their travel, as well as the materials to get them started. So we're only able to award 12 spaces for that, um, but we really welcome as many applications as possible. We're gonna be doing it based on need and interest. And serious interest. They have, ser exactly. they have to have serious interest. They have to have interest, serious right? interest. They have to really be motivated to do this because we want, we want to really help them go far. And this is a form of like micro, micro, venturing right like yeah. when, when when we speak about some of the economic issues that are facing countries like Belize and even that well countries mm -hmm. Belize in general that mm -hmm. is facing um, at a lot of times we are speaking about the mobilization of a population mm -hmm. that needs to be able to make money for itself you mm -hmm. know and mm -hmm. it's sometimes it's difficult to enter into a work market as mm -hmm. we see the high mm -hmm. unemployment level um, and then now you have this project that on a micro level, mm -hmm. you know, they, it may not be a million dollar, it could become, mm -hmm. it could become, you know, yeah. because the sky is the limit when it comes to creativity. But uh, you have something that people can empower themselves by. Exactly. And, and, and at a mm -hmm. affordable and feasible, exactly. simple. Mm -hmm. And they have access very easily to get all of the materials. You can, I mean, this particular pair that I'm wearing, it was made out of recycled, um, soda can with the lionfish tail and then the hook itself has been made from stainless steel fishing wire so it's all local locally available and easily available um, and I know materials. that I know that some of the people that I know who make jewelry a lot of times their complaints are that the materials are so expensive they have to travel to Cheddar mm -hmm. Mall to go buy the hooks and mm -hmm. this makes it expensive and a lot of times you don't really get the as a jewelry maker, you don't get the, and as a, as a customer too mm -hmm. that's buying, you don't get that variety yeah. that you're looking for yeah. because of that. So I didn't know you can make, you can make hooks out of soda cans. Yeah. Well, well the, you know, the cover. I have yeah, to really yeah. big up um, Pallavi. She's, she's the jeweler in Punta Gorda who is totally pioneering this. She is 
totally awesome. She's gone out and figured out how to make all of the materials that you need to make jewelry out of locally available. Wow. So she's really incredible. Sounds like we need to have her on the show. Yeah, yeah she's really incredible. So yeah. we've, we have this presentation today. It's at 1? Today at 1 o'clock at the Bishop Sylvester Memorial Hall. It's on Regent Street, uh, yeah. just after the House of Culture. That's right. All right. And all are invited. Women. All are invited. Women. 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 Invited. Empowerment of women. Exactly. Through land, fish, jewelry, making, and production. Can I just say a, a big thank you to our funders? Yeah. That's the um, WWF Russell E. Train for, um, Education for Nature program. So big thank you to them for funding the project. All right. Well, we squeezed you in somehow. We thank you. I appreciate it. All right. We hope it works out well mm -hmm. this afternoon. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. It's uh, 22 minutes after 9, Belize, and it's time for us to wrap. Uh, we went over time. Uh, morning's two people. Don't hold it against me. <laughs> Uh, sometimes it happens. I think I've been doing a very good job of not abusing time. Yeah. yeah? So uh, every now and then we slip. Every now and then. We hope you have a great uh, Thursday with health and strength. We'll be back here tomorrow morning at 6.30 for another edition of the WB Wake Up Believe's Morning Vibes. We want to uh, acknowledge our staff, uh, Anthony Grant at Krem, on camera and audio, Mr. Cliff Lewis, and camera Raspiter, our director, Edward Bart Sanchez, my co-host, Miss India, Camille. I'm Mozart saying Belizeans as always stand strong, stand firm. For now, we got